Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is time to talk day and I thought it would be a nice apt day to talk about ways in which I look after my mental health. Now, this is going to be different for everybody so the suggestions that I have are just kind of quite easy little suggestions that I just find help with my general mental health and well-being on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're watching this video and you feel like you need some professional help, I would definitely suggest clicking some of the links in the description box I'm going to put below and just talking to your friends and family if you can if you feel like you can do that. Um yeah. I think, you know, watch my video if you think anything will help you on some level, but definitely get some professional help if you feel like you really need it. So as I say, some of these things are just things that I find helpful. They may be not the same things for you, but if you feel like you can take something, let me know if you feel like some of these comments you can relate to, some of these ideas you can relate to and you find helpful, or some that I've suggested you know, you're going to impl implement in your life and will help you let me know. And also, if you've got any other ideas, please let me know in the comments below if you've got anything that you think might help me. So, we'll get stuck straight in. I've got my phone on me because I just need to kind of think about the different points today for this video. Tip number one is to just take stock and sit alone and just breathe. It's so rare in this day and age to actually just be with yourself and be silent and enjoy the silence and just stop and listen to yourself. It's so easy to get distracted by so many things around you. So many things on our phones, so many things on TV, everywhere apart from actually listening to ourselves. So I think to kind of start off with concentrating on your mental health a bit more is to realise exactly where you're at and what identify what you might be struggling with, things that you realise that you need help with, things that you just need to concentrate a little bit more on to make yourself feel better. So just, you know, pay attention to those positive and negative thoughts that are coming into your mind while you're sat alone and just listen to what your body is telling you. Secondly, that leads nicely into, I think, to just be present in the moment. This is a hugely difficult thing to do, I find, personally. Um, it's so easy to just be constantly thinking about the past or constantly thinking about the future, thinking about what you're going to be doing later, what you're going to be doing tomorrow, the week after, the month after, what you're going to be doing in five years, what are you going to be you know, all these different things that we get so carried away with and life just flashes before our eyes because we're always just looking into the future or looking into the past and we're not just enjoying the now, enjoying the present moment. It's it's really hard thing to do and I'll admit that I, I am finding it hard to do, I'm not an expert at it at all, I'm literally at the beginning of trying to actually be present in the moment. Um, yeah, but I think it's really important too because life just flies by and yeah, you need to appreciate the moment that you're in at this very moment because anxiety is a huge part of my life and I find that it's because I'm constantly worrying about what's going to be happening or what's already happened and if I just was present in the actual moment and realised that maybe a, a small problem that I'm presented with, that my mind exaggerates into some massive problem in the future, I would actually be able to deal with if I just kind of stopped for a second and realised that I was in the moment with the problem, the size that it is, and I could deal with it, and what have you. But yeah, it kind of, yeah, I'm kind of going off what I'm on at the moment. Definitely just be present. I think ways to help with being present are to not pick up our phone every single chance that we get. 
it's really hard um, to not do this. And sometimes you sometimes you need to. Sometimes if you've got a minute where you're waiting in a queue or you're waiting at the doctors or you're somewhere where you're just sat and you're thinking, okay, what can I do? You know, sometimes the things we need to do on our phone, you know, reply to certain emails or what have you on our phone. But I think it's really important to try and just appreciate the moment that you're in, look around you, listen to other people's conversations, look up at the sky and enjoy <laughs> what's happening around you in the physical life that you are in, rather than checking your phone and seeing what everybody else in the world is doing all of the time. Are they having a better time than you? You know, it's just, that's going to bring your your mental health down. I think social media is a really, really difficult topic when it comes to mental health because there's many ways in which it can make people feel less alone. There's many ways in which it can make people feel more connected to the world and actually help. I'm sure people have got thousands of stories about how it's helped them. Um, but then there's thousands of stories about how it really doesn't help us and um, yeah, it can have such a huge negative effect on you because you feel like you're connected, but you're not actually connected. You feel like you've got these thousands of friends and you don't actually have these thousands of friends. Um, so I think, yeah, and obviously you only see people's highlights. You only see the best of what they want to present to the world. They want to present they're having an amazing day and you know, you're thinking, oh God, that person's absolutely perfect. They're having an incredible day. They've got an incredible life and you've no idea what's really going on behind the scenes. But we just see that and think and then we aim to be that kind of person when it's not it's not real i find i have this battle in my mind about social media because i really want to do this vlogging thing i want to be online and obviously a way of kind of marketing yourself and things is to be active on social media but i feel like if i honestly if i did not want to do this so badly i probably wouldn't even even bother posting on instagram and facebook and things because I find that it's not really good for my health for all those reasons that I just said. Um, so yeah, I've kind of got a bit of conflict in my mind about that for what, yeah, what I'm doing, but there you go. Acceptance. I think um, you also need to be able to accept that you deserve to look after your mental health. You deserve to take time for yourself to look after yourself because I'm sure there's many people out there who are so busy looking after other people in their lives that they just don't spend that, spend that time on themselves and actually look after themselves. But how on earth can we expect to look after other people if we're not even looking after ourselves? It's so important and I just, yeah, I just think everybody definitely needs to realise that we deserve to do that. Because I think, I don't know whether this is still a thing, but I think some people, I know I think it sometimes, I think I've definitely managed to change my mindset a bit now in recent years, but before I think, yeah, I thought this thing of, it's selfish to just think about yourself and just think about like looking after yourself and spending time for yourself, but it's really not. It's so important. Take time out. Take the time for yourself, I think, if you do find that you feel like there are points that you're struggling with, there are things that you feel like you need to work on, you realise that you're not happy with some aspects of your life or there's just certain things, I don't know, negative thoughts coming into your head, I think it's so important to, to then just set a little bit of time aside for yourself. If you can book a day off work, just literally book a day off work for no reason other than to look after yourself and take time to just sleep all day. If that's what you want to do, go for a walk. Just chill all day in your pajamas with your children or your partner or do a day of housework if that's what you need. I know that that's one of my things. I literally, I need days off to just do the house because honestly just a day of doing the housework makes me feel so much better. I know so many people think that's an absolutely ridiculous thing, but I'm sure there's loads of people who can relate. But I find that if my if my house is really messy and I know there's a bunch of things to do, I feel like my my mind can't be calm. 
and it just feels like too too busy everywhere <laughs> it's busy outside of my mind and it's busy inside of my mind but that's just how I work but I'm also trying to fight against doing too much of that because I think I put a lot of pressure on the fact that if my house isn't tidy then my mind isn't tidy and that is fact and actually that can stress me out a bit as well because I can't just sit down and do nothing because I'm too busy thinking but I need to tidy everything first so I'm also trying to fight against that so it's also a little bit tough it's really tough this mental health thing is really really difficult really difficult <laughs> but even if you can't book a day off just take a couple of hours in an evening or something to just do what you want to do if you find there's something that you've been saying oh I used to love doing that and you haven't done it for years and years then maybe just think do you know what just go and do it one day or one evening or whenever it is but that's appropriate have a bath read a book play a game anything that you can think would just you would love nobody else that you would love do it for you and nobody else say no another really important thing it sounds awful to say no to your friends this sounds really bad but it really isn't if you feel pressure to meet up with your friends all the time, to go to events. If you are one of these people who, I don't know, get invited to lots of things and actually have that like overwhelming busy life and you do find that you need to take that evening to just sleep or read a book, don't feel so much pressure. Just try not, well, try not to feel so much pressure. It's hard to say, just don't feel it. But try not to feel so much pressure in having to be just like on all the time, you know, dressed up, out makeup on all the time if you need that evening for yourself and you just want to do nothing say no it's so hard not to feel guilty it of course it is but we shouldn't we absolutely should not feel guilty for doing what matters to us it's our time on this planet if we want an evening to ourselves we should do that and if you've got amazing friends and you know i'm sure they'd understand i'm sure they want an evening to themselves and, and to not feel pressure as well Maybe all you know, maybe we'll get together and actually say, you, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe you all just agree, just chat to me. I mean, at the end of the day, you should, yeah, you should be chatting to your friends about how you're feeling with your mental health and they should be sharing their stories too. And if you all can, maybe you'll all realise that, you know, not to put so much pressure on each other and maybe allow each other to say no to certain things and not have to give excuses or... You know, I know so many people who, who will say no to doing something and have to follow it up with no because um, they'll reel off a list of reasons why they don't want to go out that evening or something and it's like, and you can tell that they're excuses and that they're feeling guilty and you really don't need to do that. Like, I'd much rather have a friend who's open and honest with me and actually tells me no I don't want to do that tonight I just don't feel like it I just don't feel like it. I've started being super open with my friends and I will say do you know what I don't fancy doing that tonight and it's absolutely no insult to them it's not that you don't want to spend time with them it's just that you need that time for yourself exercise one of the huge things that has made a massive difference in my life over the past few years has been exercise I never saw exercise as anything to do with my mind I didn't well yeah years ago I didn't even pay attention to the fact that I needed to look after my mental health so yeah exercise was definitely not on the list of things that I was like yes I need to do this for myself for my mind it was just suppose I should exercise because I probably should to lose weight that's literally all I used to think but since running a couple of years ago I started running and it has changed my life so much I yeah might sound crazy saying that but it means so much to me now it allows me to have that time to myself it's literally a thing that I love to do to take that time for myself and just be with myself I'm not staring at my phone and seeing what everyone else is up to I'm just completely in my mind and my body and just put myself through a challenge basically and I feel like um, it makes oh, this sounds like nonsense saying but I sound so like crazy saying but please let me know if you relate I feel like when I run if I successfully 
run all the way, come back. You don't even have to do that. But if I, this is the challenge I put myself to, is run the whole way, come back home, and once I've completed it, I feel like I could do anything. I suddenly feel like, well, if my body can do that and my mind can push me to do that, I am strong, I can do anything. And I think that is so important to suddenly have a feeling about yourself that is so positive because I know I fill myself with negative, negative feelings about myself. I tell myself I can't do things. I tell myself, you know, I'm not good enough. I'm not this, not that. Loads of negative thoughts and to have that thing when I go out and do something and actually feel like I feel good about myself is amazing. It feels so important to have people feeling like that about themselves. I genuinely say that I feel like Superwoman when I go, when I run through all weathers. You, honestly, you just go out there, let rain, yeah, rain drench you, wind just try and knock you over but not knock you over and the fact that you can get through that is amazing. I always say we spend so long trying to hide from the rain, like if you're going out for the day somewhere, you know, or you're just at work or something, you're always trying to run away from the rain, just hide, it's so liberating to just be able to like run out into it and not care. It definitely makes a massive difference to my mental health. The fact that you can just be with your own thoughts and just listen to a podcast, listen to some music, listen to anything that helps or makes you feel good and just takes you away from the real world in some way from your normal day-to-day -day life is is amazing that also leads into get outside just get outside in the fresh air i think that is so important another reason why i like running is because i get to go outside again yeah you can face all weathers going outside you can go out and see the beauty of the world you can run anywhere you want and just look around you and not be staring at your phone and staring down constantly or at a computer screen or something um and obviously getting outside vitamin d from the sun all that kind of thing you know it's scientific it's not just you know i'm not just making this up that going out makes you feel good it it really does read up about it there's scientific reasons for why Getting outside is amazing for your health, physically and mentally. And yeah, I find that it's absolutely incredible. That has also hugely, hugely helped just getting out and about. You don't have to be a runner. I know I've just spoken loads and loads about running. You don't have to be a runner. Even if you are not used to walking, you're not used to getting out and about and just walking down the road, challenge yourself to do that. Challenge yourself to walk to the shops once a week or something. Just give yourself that time instead of getting a bus somewhere or yeah, just try and get out and walk down the road. If that's a challenge to you, then that's that might give you the same feelings that running gives me. It's very important just to adapt it to yourself and do what you think is good for you. Well, <laughs> there we go. That was a little bit different for me to talk about something so, um, I don't know, deep and personal because I feel like it's a massive part of my life now is to kind of concentrate on my mental health and I'm also so much more open about talking about it. I never thought I'd sit down and make a video where I was talking about this kind of thing. I know I've not really gone into um, deep about what mental health actually is or the struggles people have with it or the struggles that I have with it, but even just opening up that tiny bit and um, sharing with you some thoughts and ideas that have helped me. I feel like that's, yeah, I feel like that's a huge achievement for me, but I find that it's so much easier to talk to friends and family. Something changed a couple of years ago and I've suddenly learned to be a bit more open about it and it's really helped me. So if you can just try a little bit, if you've got that wall up that I used to have it and just thought it was me dealing with things, I just thought that nobody else would want to listen to me. Yeah, if you can bring that down just a little bit, it will make such a massive difference to you and also such a massive difference to your friends because I have noticed one thing that opening up to this about, about it to other people has meant that they have shared so many stories with me about their lives and feelings and thoughts that I, I was oblivious to, you know? I looked at them and thought, they're fine and happy just like they thought the same about me but yeah it's so important to to share these things so 
I think today being time to talk day is a really important day um, to get the message out there get people to open up a little bit more and share these kind of things yeah we should definitely be doing this more every single day and yeah I think it will make a massive difference if everybody does to the way we feel about ourselves and about other people thank you so much for watching this today and I'll see you in my next video